guys. Listen up. Can I have some? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm here to talk about the Pratham Summer Readathon, and I don't know how many of you are familiar with Pratham USA, but it's an organization that helps uh, young kids in India go to school. So what we're doing here in Dallas this summer is um, we're going to do a readathon for young kids, which is basically they read books and contact sponsors to donate money to Pratham. And what we're looking for is kids of any age can participate, and with, they can do it with their parents, they can do it independently, so as long as they want during the summer. And we're also looking, we're looking for young kids to volunteer to do the readathon. And we're also looking for high school coordinators to help coordinate um, you know, groups of kids during readathon in the Pratham area. And they would report to the Pratham National Board, which is what me and my mom do. And I have, if you have any questions or would like any more information, I have flyers in the back and I also have a phone number and email address. And it's a really great opportunity to read books here to help other kids read books in India. So please contact me if you have any questions and I will be around. Thank you. What grade is it given? It is this one. And if you are interested, please contact us by May 15th. How many of those kids want to volunteer? Raise your hand if you want to volunteer to help yeah. other kids. from your sponsors right here in the US to help other kids like underprivileged kids in India to be able to go to school. We also have the same program involves readers on coordinators. These are high school, high school kids and colleges are always looking for kids to have shown some community service, some volunteer uh, activity, some leadership skills. So this is a great way for high school kids to build up their resume. What they do is they recruit the readers 10 to 12 kids and the kids read and these high school coordinators just help them you know get the sponsors and have their web pages set up and help them raise the money but it's a project for the high school kids and for the younger the readers they read the books and for the parents it's a great way to keep your children busy and to keep them involved uh, thinking globally helping some kids you know far away in India and also what they need to do is help their children contact sponsors. So sponsors can donate $25, $50, $100, whatever the amount is. And it's very, um, not easy, but it's not difficult to raise a lot of money. So Divya herself has been doing the readathon since she was six years old, now she's 16. And she has raised more than $15,000 by just reading books for the kids. So it's a great way for your kids to be doing something really good and worthwhile. At the same time, reading books is always good. So they are getting knowledge, they are getting good English, they are getting you know, communication skills while they are helping kids in India. So think about it, if you are interested you can contact either Divya or me. Okay? And it starts June 15th to July 15th is the date of the readathon, right in the middle of summer. And you can read anywhere in the world, right? You can read at home, you can read while traveling, you can read while uh, here in India or wherever. You just keep track of the number of books you are reading. And then on August 15th, we'll have a big celebration combined IIT and T and Pratham. And the readers will get certificates, the readers on coordinators will get certificates and prizes and letters, whatever. So there'll be a big um, a celebration called Freedom to Read, because that's the India Independence Day. So if you have any questions, contact us. Can I say a round of applause for Devia? Thank you. Thank you, Devia. Thank you. 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 One more thing to add, uh, we, we have done several uh, events in the uh, past several years with Pratham and this is uh, one of the organizations that we actively support. So, uh, there it is. Uh, before we get on to the, the Joker event, uh, one quick thing. Uh, did you guys like the food? Yeah. yeah. Thank. Come here, come here. Come up here. Okay. She's about to help put it all together. Where, where, where's Deepa? Okay. Yes, Rashmi. Deepa, and Rashmi, Vinita, Pooja, where are you? There you go. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. So, uh, thanks all for coming. Uh, 
And Vita, you always uh, like how the party as usual. Well. And to thank you, we got a special gift wrap. Tate! It's a wonderful job. And uh, Lakshmi went to the restroom, so I was going to give her one. And Deepa, you got one coming. I know you got a plate in your hand. How about Pooja? There you go, Pooja. Yeah, I was getting there. Pooja, you got. Thanks for helping out. And we got. You don't have to come, you don't have to sit there. Ah, you can just keep eating. I'll get the gift to you. Um, one last thing. Thanks, thanks you all for coming here. It uh, really helps to register ahead of time. Our last minute walk-ins are always welcome for all the events. However, as all these organizers can tell you, it's very, very difficult to organize things when you don't have the exact numbers. So, and we understand the last minute uh, uh, things that come up in life, but as much as possible. Participation is as important as um, you know, putting all this thing together. So just uh, help uh, next time when you get the emails, click on the register button and say yes. And Boy, uh, we need to also uh, recognize Vijay Dheer. Come here. I don't, I don't know what you're doing. But, and, uh, where's Nanesh? Where's Nanesh talk? Uh, Nanesh, I can see him walking back there. Okay, we got the. We're gonna do introductions one more time for these two guys. Okay, what's your name? When did you graduate? Vijay, graduated 2012 BC. <laughs> okay. Right here. 1969. There you go. We got the oldest graduate and the youngest graduate in this. You do have people who are driving in 2000. And for that, you both of you get t-shirts. You can go pick, pick them up. Okay. You want to take all the jokes? Okay. So. Uh, okay, so now we are going to have the Joker of the Picnic. By team. Team 4. Team 4. I go?
7 series BMW. It's driving great. It runs great during the daytime. Nighttime it doesn't run. He was so upset. One day he says, okay, let me take it to the dealer. So they inspect the car. Hey, it's good. What is wrong? He says, uh, you know, it's running great in daytime. Nighttime it doesn't run. He checks engine. Sir, are you sure you are using the gas properly? Of course I know. D for day and for night. <laughs>
and uh, the teacher would pass the attendance book around for people to mark attendance. He was very trusting, basically. So there was there were always people who had arrangements that they would mark attendance for each other. So you would see there'd be 20 people and there'd be 40 people saying yes sir, 40 yes sirs for for the attendance. So that's the backdrop. So one day this professor comes into the class and says, "So I have some very committed students here. I'm looking at the attendance book and there's this guy." He's marked attendance even on weekends. <laughs> very, very committed you know, people. So that is one, uh, uh, one funny story. So uh, uh, there was another one. There's another one that was there. Similar uh, funny incident. Again, true story. But uh, might get a little more involved here. So there's this. Uh, uh, there's this. The other practice we had in these labs was we'd have juniors actually fill in for the seniors and go and give attendance on their behalf. So there was this guy who showed up for a lab and it required preparation. That is why the senior had picked the junior to go. He didn't want to prepare, he didn't want to show up for the lab. So the lab instructor asked this guy, okay, so I got some questions for you just to see how you prepared. And he asked this guy a question. Now this guy is from a different branch, he just doesn't know the answer. So he's he's there, you know, deer in the head, like uh, deer in the head, like he doesn't know what to say. So then this guy says, the professor says, hey, this is a very simple question, you should know the answer. Okay, let me give you an even more simple question, see if you know the answer to that. Ask the question, again, this fellow has no idea. He says, how did you get into IIT, man? What is your rank? And in the, uh, in the joint entrance exam, now this guy doesn't know the answer to that either because he doesn't know the rank of the person he was, uh, you know, <laughs> So those are some of the attendance jokes. Uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. And if my team members have any other better ones, Hold on, then the rest of the joke killers, jokers, come here, come up here. Yeah, we're we gonna, we gonna get a vote now. Who's team one? Your team one? Okay, let's do a round of applause. You can't vote for your team, huh? You can't vote for your team. You can't vote for your team. Team one. Team one.